Today we're going to draw Rita Hayworth. Rita is another Libra. Libras are alert, but can also be a little bit lazy. So I'm just starting off with those eyes, putting in the... What one's pretty big. That's because she's kind of doing it on an angle. Now I'm doing the nose. Big mouth. <laughs> Very big mouth. It's good to... Um, if you're not sure, then just to do a big mouth. All the teeth. If you're a Libra, your lucky day is Friday. Rita Hayworth is... A, talk about a starlet. Quite a square head in this picture. Later on in her career, Rita tried her hand at theatre, but it wasn't for her, as she couldn't remember her lines. Now I'm just doing Rita's signature hair, and she's holding her hand up against her head, just to, to help support her head, and now I'm just doing some, some more hair. And talk, it's flowing, certainly it's flowing. One thing people say about Rita is that she's got very flowing hair. And that's pretty much that's pretty much done now. Just going over some of the, the lines, making them a bit thicker. Touching up the nose a little bit. But that's uh whew, what a beauty. Hey, you know that red hair she's got? Well, guess what? That's actually a dye job because she's actually got brown hair. So that's my first drawing of Rita. Came out pretty pretty good, I think. Nice, nice relaxed pose, hand on the head. Always remember to do the eyebrows, very important. The eyebrows are the window to the soul as we now know, Libras can be quite lazy, so maybe she was just feeling a little bit lazy on this day and just propping her head up. Maybe she's had a long day making movies and just needed to have a little rest. I'll let you decide. Gave her a pretty big schnoz in this photo, but again, it's more to do with the angle that she's at. This is a a perspective trick to fool the eye. Hayworth was actually just her stage name. Her real name was Cancino. Margarita Carmen Cancino. Rolls off the tongue. But sometimes in show business, you've got to change your name to make it big. Hey, do you, hey, do you like noodles? I like, I eat a lot of noodles. Especially spicy noodles. Hey, I wonder if Rita Hayworth likes spicy food because she's Spanish. Because I do. I know I like spicy noodles. This one's kind of a, a little bit of a cheeky one. Because if you look closely, you'll notice that she's giving, giving you a little look while she's turning around. So kind of saying, hey, come and check me out. Trying to make the hair a little bit bigger. I dare you to check me out. That's what she's kind of saying. If you are a Libra, then you will get along well with Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, and Leo. So just pretty much finished this drawing, going over all the lines and stuff, doing the teeth. The, all the stuff. Now, yeah, pretty finished. And this is one lady that's sure to turn some heads. Because she's turning, because she's turning her. You don't see a lot of ladies wearing big hats anymore. That was, that was pretty cool. I don't know why they don't wear more big hats. I don't know very much about this woman, but she does wear some hats sometimes. This is one of the hats she I saw her wearing. Let me tell you, this is a pretty big hat. 
can see just um so here her hair is just spilling out of this hat really coming down over her face a couple of little nose holes the rest of the nose up to the bridge of the uh, nose down doing the mouth it's um, pretty textbook stuff I do very little shading because I don't know how some um, another quite square drawing square face drawing but hey there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of a square face I always say Not only did she have a big hat, but also a fluffy coat. And there you have it. Another masterpiece. So, um, she's not just an actress. She's also a pretty, she was also a pretty good dancer. I found a clip of her doing a tap dance. And let me tell you, oh my goodness. Anyone who can dance at a high level is very impressive. Can you imagine being able to dance very well? This one is in a swimming pool. She is going for a dip. Trying to just cool off maybe after a hot day in the sun. And I've given her a big mouth again. Big mouth, big eyes. but a smaller nose. She actually turned out a bit boyish in this drawing because I didn't have enough space to do the top part of her hair where she's got more of a, you know, like a, a she's got, she got a bit more of a, like a, long, like a, a bunched up, her hair's a bit more bunched up at the top, but I ran out of space. So don't really get the full effect and it makes her look a little bit boyish. But I tried to make up with it by giving her some ample breasts down, down, down at the bottom of the page if you just avert your attention down there. And now what I'm doing is I'm just trying to draw some lines to make, to, to make it look like water, like a swimming pool. But it's quite, it's tricky, it's easier said than done. They're just, just going over the breasts again, giving a little, a little bit of volume to them. And you can see she's just going for a little swim. And, uh, hey, this looks like she loves going, looks like she loves the water. And who doesn't, am I right? On a hot day, going for a swim. That's nice. This is the final drawing I did of Rita Hayworth. Um... I mostly try to focus, in this drawing I mostly mostly try to focus on the hat because she has a very big hat. Um, there was an issue with the recording, kind of messed up so I, I lost a bunch of it so yep, yep, that's the finished product. And she's got a lot of, um, yeah, as you can see the drawing is mostly of her hat. That's when she's a little bit older, a little bit wiser. So don't forget to subscribe and all that stuff. I make new videos every day, sometimes.